On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282. Or toll free at 888-545-9282. 837 back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Lots of need-to-know things coming up a little bit later on in this half hour with regards to Cyber Monday. Did you buy me something already? I hope you did, but uh, we'll share that with you coming up. Uh, joining me now on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline, uh, let's welcome in a three-time Grammy Award-winning, award-nominated uh, filmmaker, uh, also a photographer. Uh, he's uh, shot some album covers, documentaries, photo shoots for some, so some real legends like Bruce Springsteen, Johnny Cash, uh, even working with folks like Pearl Jam and Foo Fighters and uh, Green Day. And he's also currently serving as the co-chair for the Asbury Park Music and Film Festival. And uh, let's get some information on that for a festival that is coming up uh, in the spring. And uh, let's welcome in Danny Clinch uh, this morning to WCTC. Danny, good morning. It's Bert Barron. Great to speak with you today. How are you? Good morning, Bert. Thanks for having me. Uh, great musical heritage, obviously, uh, in Asbury Park. Uh, but the film festival coming up, the 2016 Asbury Park Music and Film Festival, uh, call for entries going on now, and we'll share that info with you in just a second. But uh, you grew up at the Jersey Shore, and uh, what a great music scene we had here, right? Absolutely, yeah. I grew up in Tom's River, and uh, I spent a lot of time um, on the Jersey Shore uh, music scene, and certainly in Asbury Park and going to the Stone Pony and uh, catching music there. Uh, and it, there's just a great history of music there, and uh, it's such a great shoe-in for a film festival like this. And yeah. You know, it's the second year. Last year was uh, very successful, and uh, everybody saw a great opportunity to just even take it up a notch and uh, create something really cool for the community. Yeah, and I think Asbury Park is a city that combines the two very well. Obviously, the great musical heritage that you have there, uh, but a film festival in Asbury Park, uh, which, of course, Asbury Park uh, had hosted the other uh, Garden State Film Festival for several years. Uh, the two play very well together in a city like Asbury Park. Uh, talk about why. Uh, this is such a successful endeavor. Last year was great, and this year I'm sure is going to be even better. Well, I think the idea of um, Asbury Park Music in Film Festival, as it's called, um, it, that's the idea. It's music in film, uh, films about music. A lot of musicians are making films. Uh, and became last year what was so great was there was a lot of um, you know bands playing during the film festival as well. So you could see a film, say, um, with Rob Trujillo, who, who made a film, and then later on go to the Stone Pony and see like an all-star jam session. Um, and it's just really a great community vibe there, uh, and it's, a, it, it's an opportunity for people, you know, to get in and enjoy music and film. And, uh, you know, the proceeds of the, uh, of the festival, uh, it benefits Asbury Park Music Foundation, uh, which helps underserved children uh, in Asbury with music education and lessons and workshops and instruments and all sorts of programs. Um, you know, to keep the uh, keep that history alive. Sure, great cause. Uh, and for you as being uh, one of the co-chairs of the festival, uh, what do you look for when a submission? I understand that the, this is a global uh, request here that's been thrown out for the submissions for this film, so you're going to get entries from around the world. Uh, yeah. What do you look for when it comes to judging a film uh, for this particular film festival? Well, I think it's, um, it's about story. Uh, I'm a visual guy as well, so I like things to look good. Uh, I feel like the opportunity for for filmmakers um, with any budget these days is really big. You have big budget films uh, that are always beautiful, and then you have people that are being very creative with small budgets uh, and getting out there. And I, that intrigues me when someone can take a small budget and a do-it-yourself mentality and create something really cool that's interesting, has a great story, and has a great payoff at the end. So the, those are the kind of things I'm looking for. Yeah, that's uh, that's so important. You see sometimes, like you said, a, a giant budget film or somebody that just has a great idea and is able to capture that story. Like it, It's all about the story at the end of the movie, whether it's a, a three-and-a-half-hour blockbuster or it's a short film that, that sort of touches you emotionally. That's what the mission of filmmaking is all about. That's correct, yeah. Excellent. Well said. Now our guest yeah. is a filmmaker and uh, a photographer and filmmaker Danny Clinch, uh, who is currently serving as the co-chair for the Asbury Park Music and Film Festival. The call for entries is going on now, and the film festival uh, will take place in Asbury Park April 9th through 10th uh, in Asbury Park, of course. Uh, 8th through 10th. 8th through 10th, right. My, my, my birthday is the 9th. That's why I keep getting <laughs> stuck on that. So you April April, yeah, okay. April 8th uh, through 10th. Uh, where is the website, Danny, where people can get some information or, and find out how to submit an entry? 
Oh, goodness. I have it here if you don't have it. Uh, no, you can you can share it with us. Sure will, and I'll put it up on our Facebook fan page, too. It is APMFF.com, like Asbury Park Music Film Festival. Dot com. And I'll put that link up on our Facebook fan page as well. Uh, to get those entries in, uh, the call for entries is going on now, and uh, it's going to be a terrific festival once again. Uh, uh, when you talk about music and film, uh, Danny, what's what's the uh, couple, uh, one or two, that maybe you'd recommend for people that want to see a great movie that has a great music connection? What are a couple mm-hmm. can't miss uh, can't miss selections? Well, I just recently um, watched that movie, Whiplash. And oh, that what was, a movie. Boy, what wow. a movie. Holy cow. Fantastic. I, just, I just watched it. Yeah. Riveting. Uh, I re- that, that was an Oscar performance there by the, the, the insurance guy. He definitely earned that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. The insurance guy, he did show himself in a new light. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, that was um that was a real a real <clears throat> a real winner. I did just see uh Tom Zimney's um river documentary for the Bruce Springsteen The River. Oh right. I saw that at Monmouth University, which was really cool. Um, for sure. And um, I think um, you know the the other <clears throat> the other great excuse me the, the other um, great music film uh, that I that I really enjoyed was um, oh gosh I'm blanking on the name um, well I did a film that I'm quite proud of uh, on the Devils and Dust Bruce Springsteen um, record that was really about where Bruce was at this time in his life oh, right. uh, when he made that record. And um, to me, like a documentary like that, uh, Tom's and, 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 you know, and these documentaries, it's, it's interesting to see where people are in that time of their life and they can explain it in a way that no one else can. And it gives you insight into that record or into that uh, body of work and music um, that they've made. Excellent stuff. And I just uh, put the link up on our Facebook fan page where people can get some information APMFF.com, uh, Asbury Park Music Film Festival.com. Uh, well, you'll get some information if you'd like to submit a film for this. Uh, various formats, uh, digital, analog, Super 8, you kind of taking everything for this uh, for this festival? That's correct, yeah. Excellent. But just tell the story. That's what you want to see a story being told. I do. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, thank you for your time this morning and congratulations. Uh, well, just a great body of work that you have as well, Danny. I, I had a chance to take a look at, I had no idea that you had done such great work and Man, just uh, stuff that's legendary in the rock world, uh, but uh, great stuff, uh, and you, and congratulations, and uh, thank you for being uh, on the show this morning, and good luck with the film festival going forward, and keep us posted along the way. I'd love to, to check in uh, every now and then and see how things are going. Well, I appreciate that, Bert, and you should come down, and we'll celebrate your birthday on the Sounds 9th. Sounds good. I'll get there on the 9th for the second right. day of the festival, not the first day, <laughs> right? Danny, thank you. Have a great day. Good to talk to you. Thank you All so right, much. take care. All right, Bye. Danny Clinch, my guest uh, here on Jersey's